all right uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, git version uh, today we're going to be looking at how to integrate git version on a project that you've already tagged a couple of versions uh, probably manually and we're going to look at um, one of the scripts that i showed you in the first episode the one uh, before this uh, and i'll leave the link in the description uh, how to integrate that and uh, basically if you've done some versions uh, manually we're going to be continuing those versions but now going forward all of those will be done through ci uh, on github actions um, obviously this uh, script that i'm showing you is uh, still under uh, so it's a work in progress so um, until everything is finalized we're going to be copy pasting a bit of code and once uh, it hits version one you can use it directly as a third party github action in your repositories and you don't have to worry about copy pasting the files here and there so that will be probably the next episode or uh, uh, once it's ready and and in the meantime i'm also working on a, a couple of more videos uh, which are a little different in terms of their topic but i hope you'll like them so yeah let's get started so the first thing that i want to do is create a github uh, repository which has a couple of tags already created but obviously for you if you already have a project that you're working on you can integrate a git version on it So this is the current structure of the project. Obviously, if you have a real project, you'll see a lot more versions that you've created. Uh, but this is a very basic example. So let me fire up git g here, which is a UI for git. And now you can see that I have my uh, initial commit. I made a couple of uh, changes uh, through a feature branch, uh, which got merged to develop. And that's the first feature then uh, one more pr that resulted in the second uh, alpha release and when i merged it to the main branch um, i got the stable version which is 0.1.0 uh, uh, obviously you're not seeing any merge commits because i i use uh, squash so that's my current project structure now let me push uh, all of this to origin i hope that works okay and i think i might have to push the tag separately okay and now we can take a look at the repository uh, i made all the commits empty just to make sure that we don't have any code um but yeah um, if i go to the insights uh, and the network uh, you'll see the same uh, structure so now uh, this is version 1.0.1.0 and now we want to integrate uh, git version so that uh, all uh, all the tags that we create going forward are automated um, and we are focused only on writing code so to do that what i'm going to do is open up this project where i'm currently working on the uh, github action that will help you um do this versioning through this third party github action right for semver which is sem very easy <laughs> so first thing we need is uh, the action file itself so we're going to get the raw and here so i can create a branch called as pure because it's ci stuff um I automate and I can create the github slash workflows folder and let's name it git version paste add in and I also need the corresponding bash script which is this one copy that and for the bash script i'm going to paste it in a different folder called cicd slash git version dot sh that i want to do one thing in the github workflow file which is replace this uh, path with what is it cicd 
slash get version dot such obviously you're not going to have to do any of this once the um, version one of the script is available but for now we're going to have to do this so this is ready and uh, if i show you basically what's happening in this workflow uh, we're fetching in the entire history of this uh, repository uh, checking out to the right branch um, checking what has changed and calculating the next version updating the pr uh, description if uh, if i raise the pr uh, in the pr uh, description we show what is the next version uh, that got calculated and um, if it is uh, being merged uh, we also push the tag which is basically the automation part and uh, if you see each line um, is one subcommand sorry not this one one subcommand in the script uh, the second modification that i want to do to this github uh, action file is to change the repo type from mono repo to a single app uh, because uh, in this example at least uh, i'm not going to be creating um, different apps inside the same repo if you're doing that uh, you need to keep things inside an apps folder um, otherwise this is how it is um, cool uh, now let's say we add some code which is like so i'm just going to do a console log console log new line and uh, now i'm ready to create a pr for this one little thing that we also need if you notice this file is a git version yml file which uh, helps you configure the way git version behaves uh, and it's supposed to be inside ci cd um, common slash git version dot yml also going to get that from the other repository for now and again going to copy that and going to create a common folder here and create the file called as dot git version dot yml paste that in uh, cool so now let's push all of this code so i'm going to say add Git version GitHub. So push. And uh, if you haven't seen my shorts on YouTube, uh, probably a good time to understand what that command is. So be sure to check that out as well. Cool. So now let's go to the um, repo and update the. PR here. So I'm creating the PR from uh, my chore slash CI automate into develop. Uh, because if you know in Git flow, all uh, changes are supposed to be done on develop and then you create a release and merge it. So that's what I'm going to do. And now we're going to be waiting for the action to run and we'll see how that goes. So I'll probably fast forward with this. So the github action file ran and it calculated that we are going to be bumping it to 0 0.1.1 um, which works fine for me so i'm going to squash this and merge it and uh, yeah fingers crossed so uh, now that same github action will run on develop and let's see uh, what is the tag that we get so i'm going to go to the actions tab and see the result of uh, the workflow by default uh, uh, there's a minor bump on uh, develop and if you want to patch something um, you can also update the body of the uh, squashed commit that happens on pr merges to, uh, and say I want to do a patch uh, by default it's minor so i'll fix that in the in the code but uh, yeah i'm going to accept that 0 0.2.0 is the right version as you can see uh, it calculated alpha.3 here uh, but obviously it's supposed to be alpha.1 so uh, that is the 
pre release labels uh, numbering so that calculation happens after this and we get version 1 and now if i uh, take a look at the i can just show you locally right so let me do a, a git fetch or and if i open git g again you'll see that uh, on develop uh, this is develop so i can I can pull develop again but this is the head uh, i got the new uh, version so from now on everything uh, will happen automatically obviously there are a couple of bugs in the github action file and i'll, I'll fix all of those uh, so that's it for this video um, hopefully you enjoyed it and saw how to automate versioning on your already existing projects i hope you use the github action to automate your repos as well um, and if you do uh, leave a comment down below and uh, uh, let me know what you're working on uh, also last month i traveled to europe so i have lots and lots of videos that i did capture to show you how beautiful it was um, and i'll be publishing those soon so stay tuned for that and if you did stay till the end of the video uh, how about leaving a comment uh, down below how about the peace sign so yeah later bye